LeBron has finally gotten around to addressing Dunkgate and his blowing off the magic and the media after Orlando did the Cavs in the playoffs. He addressed it, but he didn't really own it. Regarding the dunk, he told the National Association of Black Journalist Sports Task Force, quote, I never told anyone to confiscate any tapes. Nike has a no videotape policy of pickup games. They've always done that. Now that LeBron is involved, it's blown up. You did not really just invoke the royal third person, did you? Why not just go with, now that the king is involved, it's blown up. I mean, is that how it is now? Actually, it's blown up because you or your flax tried to cover it up. Once again, the cover-up is always worse than the crime itself, especially when there is no crime. So you got dunked on. Happens to everybody. If you had just given the kid his ups and kept moving, nobody would have known or cared. But your pride wouldn't allow that. Or your Nike goons thought that your pride wouldn't allow that. Either way, you look bad. And if you didn't tell them to do it, and as a policy Nike doesn't do it, then how did this happen in the first place? So that settled nothing. Rush is stripped. The final second. The Orlando Magic has defeated the Cleveland Cavaliers in six. Even worse was LeBron's response to stiffing the media and the Magic after they were bounced in the conference finals. While he admits that he should not have ducked the media, he still doesn't see anything wrong with not shaking hands with the Magic. Again, quote, look. I look at the no handshake like this. During the regular season, no one ever shakes hands. You move on to the next game. I congratulated Dwight Howard through email and told him good luck in the finals. Shaking hands is no big deal to me. It's not being a sore loser. It's moving on. Sometimes people want you to accept losing, and I'll never accept losing. Wrong answer. No one's asking you to accept losing. They're asking you to show some class when you do. They're asking you to lose with honor as well as to win with it. And not doing so doesn't make you competitive. It does make you a sore loser. And you can't compare it to the regular season. It's not the same thing. Going to battle against a rival for six or seven games for the right to play for an NBA title is not the same thing as beating down some scrub in a meaningless game in mid-November. Man up, show some class, acknowledge the other guy, and get off the floor. It's not that hard, and it's the right thing to do. You don't want to win any worse than Kobe Bryant does, and he congratulated the Celtics after they beat the Lakers up physically and humiliated them in a blowout to wrap up the NBA Finals. Next time, do the right thing.